Finally. Finally. <laughs> oh my word. I'm really it's, sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's not really your wow. fault. I actually didn't see this coming because I I had the ban for two weeks, okay. but for some reason they allowed me to stream over the past two weeks and but now i guess i'm the unlucky yeah, one you're the unlucky <laughs> one but yeah thank you so much i mean it's really an honor and um, i must say thank you so much for the patience that you've shown not so many people are as patient as you are is uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. uh, thanks a lot so we we get straight into our questions um welcome to your ground it's an honor to have you and Thank you for I must me. say, congratulations for producing amazing music, and you have done so well over the past two, three years. I mean, I must say. Thank you so much. Yeah, it, it, it's been a long road, yeah, but thanks, hey, eh? it's been all hard work, and yeah, that, that's it. Yeah. Tell us about that journey. When did it start? How did it start for Novo Year to get into music? All right, initially I'd say, okay, I, I grew up with the love of music and, mm -hmm. and, and when it's a new, it's a new, you, you can't run away from it. Mm -hmm. So as I grew up, um, the only thing was, I was always like so, so shy and laid back. I, I didn't have confidence in my voice. So mm -hmm. I would concentrate on my other talents, which are so I always thought I was a better dancer and, and my twin sister was a better singer than me so I would, I would let her lead most of the songs all the time when we are singing at church when we are singing a anywhere just about anywhere school choirs and I will just be the vo be backing vocalist literally all the time so but as we grew up I guess I was finding myself and I was also you know learning to gain some confidence and i would say professionally uh, it started in 2009 let me say when i started um, with this with in terms of literally like the musical wise mm -hmm. so it was a, a women mm -hmm. ensemble and we got to do some tours with them uh, we started off we had our first tour in 2011 to germany and austria and, wow. and Russia as well. So we were dancing and singing at the same time. So as we went on, I think I was slowly gaining my confidence until I fully, fully gained my confidence to like stand alone and actually sing a song and then others back me. Uh, it was 2012, we went for Umoja. Umoja mm -hmm. Oh, you saw you are part of the flying carpet as well? Yes, I wow, was part of awesome. the flying carpet. Yeah. <laughs> So it so happened that my twin sister's voice went out and she couldn't sing. So I was the only one that knew the song because it was a Debele song and the rest of the guys couldn't sing that song. So uh, I was forced to now lead the song because her voice was gone. So it was my first, ex first ever experience to lead a song in front of like a lot of people. Yeah, so yeah. then uh, that's when, so after I went on stage, people were like really applauding me. I'm like, you did good, you did good. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh wow, okay. And my chipendo was like, ah, you should start yes. singing because you've got that, those Zara voices. <laughs> and then that's when I said, oh, okay. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. Maybe let me, let me start uh, doing this music thing. So 2014, me and my sisters, my twin sister and Kakashua, we started our own band, the three of us. It was called One Stand Band. And um, we started singing in hotels like, uh, um, like like Rainbow Hotel, like um, Holiday Inn and so forth. Yeah. And yeah, I found myself starting to actually lead a few songs. And then 2014, 2015, I yes. took a step to say, let me, let me, I went for Stop Right and mm -hmm. I competed for Stop Right and I was on my own. So I was like, let me do this alone. Now that again was not because of me, it was because a friend forced me to do that. So because she believed in me somehow. So I went, did stop right, and surprisingly, I won stop right 2015. Wow. And I didn't even see it coming. So that's when my solo career kick started. So ever since then, I never looked back. I've been, you know, trying to push on my own, even with the band is still there, and we do some shows here and there. So yeah, there's there's been a lot. I could write a whole book and wow. five chapters after that. But I, 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 I can I can see that. I can I can I can feel that because I think for me and most people probably they just know Novuyo from IA or 
uh, was yeah. that your that was your main breakthrough right mm -hmm. yes yes i'd say that was my first breakthrough yeah let me say that and, and, that's when my first song actually came out yeah and tell me about that experience iaoo uh did you see it coming did you see the breakthrough coming did you know that it was gonna be a hit <laughs> No, to be honest, it was done right here in this school where I'm seated right now. Uh -huh. It was done, like we were joking when we were doing it. So <laughs> I didn't even see, I didn't even think that it was going to make waves like that. Because when Lance uh -huh. just came over to me and was like, have you ever done house music? I was like, ah, no, I'm not really such much of a fan of house music. But let me listen to yes. the beats. And then I listened, oh, I was moved by the beat and I just started writing lyrics to it. And then Liz, I started seeing them and Liz was like, no. Went to, the, to, the, to a storeroom and we closed ourselves in. We used a uh -huh. Skype mic, a laptop yes. Skype mic. And we put my scarf as the, uh, to actually uh, avoid distortions. We put my scarf and bang, we recorded the song, bang. Days later, Lance came back with a song and was like, the song is done. I listened to it. I couldn't believe it was me. I was like, <laughs> is this me or someone else? We made other schoolmates listen to the song. People were like, dude, this is a, this is a banger. So I started sharing the songs, you know, jokingly. I didn't even think yes. it was going to make it until I, I started talking to um, Alan King, he's from Stifle, uh -huh, uh -huh. so he, he, he's an old friend, so he asked me if I was still doing music and all that, and I was like, yeah, I just recorded my first song, he was like, let's see it, I sent him, and ooh, he was moved, he was like, I'm taking this straight to radio, and that's how mm -hmm. IEO started jamming on Stifle, and then later on, on other radio stations, guys. You know we're here today and we've won awards for it so it's it's just i'm 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 still i'm still moved i'm still like surprised you know <laughs> wow so, great yeah. mm -hmm. yes so uh in terms of now your music uh, has managed to break through uh mm -hmm. you are now this star there's a lot of this attention <laughs> that is coming with it uh yeah. and 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 you, you you are still trying to find your feet right yeah, uh, yeah. What, what were some of the struggles that you must say yes yes, I, 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 you know, yes I was asking some of these major struggles that you must you, you faced like in your early days of your career uh, that you must say I think these challenges uh, were the major hindrance to my you know, breakthrough? Uh, I would say, I remember the first days, I, 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 you know, I always wanted to hear myself playing at some club or clubs or wherever, you know. Out of myself and go to clubs carrying a flash, asking yes. DJs to jam to my song. And I did that for almost I, I don't know, almost over, almost a year trying to push that song. I remember I went to Arara at some point. I went to Judgment Yard was jamming. Some, yes. some guys from Judgment Yard were jamming at, what's the name of our club? I forgot the name, but I went there and asked for them to play my song. Mm -hmm. I gave, I tried to give them my flash. You know, it, it took hours. I kept going back trying to ask them to play the song and they they never played the song you know so i was so moved i was like um what does it take for these teachers to play to our music because they they, they are the sometimes we get these complaints that uh artists don't want to share their music with us yes. the same teachers say that yes. but then when you try and go to them and request for them to play your song and then um, you get this response, this negative mm -hmm. response. For mm -hmm. me, it's heartbreaking and it's such a, it's so, uh, you know, demoralizing in a way. But I never mm -hmm. gave up. I kept doing my thing and later on, I didn't even have to do that. Um, some people, you know, ended up noticing that, okay, oh, so she is the novice girl behind the song. But I did that for quite some time and it was a challenge. And, and, but I managed to, to overcome it. And another thing would be, you know, 
try to, um, I would say, I, I wanted a music video for this song, but yes. up to today, I still don't have video because mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. for you to get that, because I, a lot of people have been com, com, commenting that it's a good song and it deserves a good video. And yes. I just can't shoot any music or any ordinary music video. Mm -hmm. So for quite some time, I've been struggling to, because uh, it's expensive to get that high quality video that's yeah. gonna uh, stream on Trace Africa, that's gonna play in Channel O and whatnot. Because mm -hmm. that's it. That has been my aim to get that kind of um, music video. Mm -hmm. And for us, for quite some time, I've, I am so, I'm still trying to make that happen. Mm -hmm. At some point, I did try. I approached some. I did save up some money, and I approached. Um, some guy, one of the best guys in, in visuals in yes. Zimbabwe, and mm -hmm. and and he did me gangster. I'll, I'll plainly oh, say that too bad. in public. Too, too, yeah. yeah. He, who he who is that guy? Money. What he got your money, but he never did the work. He never did, and and it's so heartbreaking because he's my homeboy, and I I looked up to him as my brother, and I thought it's all about uplifting each other in this industry. I've got mm -hmm. a good song. You you've got the experience. You've got the, the 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 you know the you you have the potential to make me achieve a dream one of my dreams but what do you do you take advantage i felt like he take advantage you know i i felt like i i don't know was it because i'm a woman i don't know but but honestly i i i'm i'm still i'm still pissed off by that issue because he hasn't even paid back my money it might not be much but it's my money i worked hard for it i saved up i went through, went through sweat trying to save up those bucks but what did it do so well i tried every means to get him paid back but he's not moved he still hasn't paid so I, are I you know. at liberty to mention who that is are you no, because because I, I already mentioned the issue before and it came out on papers. I guess there's yes. no hassle in mentioning him mm -hmm. after all because I've mentioned his name before and it went out all over papers. It's Blex, Blex, Vusa Blex. It's, mm -hmm. it's him. I'll, I'll plainly yes. say it. I need to say it because um, just to protect someone out there who might face the same issue. So yeah, it's, it's really sad. It was not. It wasn't that much, but we came to an agreement. But then mm -hmm. it's my money. It's my money. Yes. But anyway, you paid the money. You didn't get the work. You didn't get the money back. Yeah, it's quite. Thank you. It's quite unfortunate yeah. there. And uh, uh, I mean. talking about that, um, do you feel women face more challenges as compared to men? How is the industry yeah. like for 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 you as a female artist? It is. It is. Women. Women do face more challenges than men. I feel like because we are women, sometimes we are taken advantage of, and and we face. We come across these men that will try, and and promise us nothing, um, all in the name of I'll 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 I'll, I'll get you up there, you know, trying to create some sh sort of shortcut shortcut yes. to to your success, but but of which it is not fair it is my craft it is my talent why should i be suffering for my own talent why can't you just help me without expecting anything back anything in return so women do face challenges you know we've had uh, issues of of abuse issues of of sexual harassment issues yes. of of this and that you know it's not easy to be a woman in this industry. This industry is brutal. There's always someone out there who's, who's got eyes on you and some just want to tap and go. Some just want, 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 they just want a piece of you. And if you don't focus and if you don't open your eyes, you are going to be one of those victims. So I always say that to other women, don't, don't let this, don't, don't, Love, I'm, 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 I'm a shortcut to, to success, to anything. Just wait, rather you sweat, let it take decades if it means. The, the artists, the female artists mostly, are definitely change how society thinks that music is not a business. Music is a business and you can survive from it. And I'll definitely change its dominance by males. I'll try and 
so not that I'm a feminist or anything, but I'll try and support females more. And if I happen to have those platforms that females could come and showcase themselves more often, I would do that because I feel like women have got it, but it's just that some of them end up uh, uh, dropping this whole music thing because, or this whole artist thing, because they are scared to. To come, to, to come across all those challenges that I spoke about before and they're scared to end up doing things that they don't want to do. So you check. So I would try and fully empower women and let them get uh, as much uh, more uh, platforms to showcase, to showcase themselves and show off their talent as possible because I've noticed that Whenever there's a big uh, show coming up, it's always male-dominated and it's probably one female artist or not even one at all that's on the lineup. So there's not, it's, it's not that they, they're not there, it's not that they, they're not, they, they're, they're not good females out there that could challenge the, the top guns. No, no, no. We are there. We are just limited by the fact that some of us end up getting scared to, to actually push this further because we... We feel like I, I, I can't do this because I have to sleep with so and so. I can't do this because um, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be paid this legal. And the fact that um, I also change um, um, the fact that we are always paid what we don't deserve. You know, I'll probably create a market price for for every artist in the industry because I feel like we, we some 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 artists are really undercharged out there. You know, you don't get what you're really worth and um, you tend to realize most of the times there comes a, an artist from SA and maybe you're in, in the lineup as them but you are you are you you get underpaid, you get um, you, you charge them such a, a certain amount but they'll tell you, Oh no, this is what we have for you. No, it shouldn't work like that. With, and with, the, art, mm -hmm. yeah, with the international artists, yeah. they'll pay him whatever he requests. And with us, it's not the same issue. So I'll change, I'll definitely change the way the promoter thinks, the way the society thinks, and definitely give them, show them that we are also worth, uh, worth it as much as the other uh, uh, artists are. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah. And let's talk about airplay. Um, uh -huh. <clears throat> do you feel you're getting enough airplay, or the playing field is level? It's, it's it's balanced. Well, personally, because I, 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 I sometimes I, I don't. I'm, I'm like more always up and about. I don't really get to hear myself uh, on radio. But I always have friends and fans coming to me. Oh, I'm listening to you on radio. So I think on my end, I'm, I'm I am getting fair play. I, I, because if I wasn't, and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been. Um, awarded these awards that I got, Talk of Us Star FM Awards, as well as Sky's Metro Awards. So which means um, it's enough airplay for people to listen to me. So, you know, not knowing about others, because I, as, as I've mentioned, I, it's, it's hard for me to be on, like to sit down and say, I'm really listening on to, to radio right now, because it's either I'm at school full time, and or it's either I'm, I'm jamming out somewhere you know, it's either when I'm home, there's no Zesa. So I hardly find myself listening to radio. But I think um, uh, with uh, the rest of the others, I think now it's better. It's not as before because I remember it was really a challenge days back to have even yeah. artists from here in Bulaya to be playing in Arare, in radio stations in Arare. That's why they ended up becoming. Uh, Sky's Metro to support uh, uh, artists in terms of airplay. So, but I think now it's getting better. It's improving, and um, I I hear most of art, most artists are now playing on air, on especially on the other side of radio stations. You know, like Star FM, ZFM, mm -hmm. you name it. Great. So, yeah. And uh, congratulations on the awards that you won. Uh, such a huge Thank achievement. Um, Thank you. Thank you. And, 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 and you had uh, a couple of big 
platforms that you, you got uh, last year to perform it. And apparently, yeah. you had uh, some bad experiences on some of those stages. Uh, I just want to know, how did you overcome? How did you manage to pick yourself up and not break? Because uh, you, you're still standing tall, you're still doing music. And you don't look discouraged after all the experiences that we've had. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I um, A few years ago, someone taught me that to remain excellent, take yesterday's mediocrity mm -hmm. to the next level. You know, you, you have the responsibility to, to take yourself where you want to be. So I, 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 I looked at myself, I was like, no, I mean, I've been through so much. That, that was like the least of my mm -hmm. experiences, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, you know what? I've been through this. Uh, people have thrown missiles at me. People have booed at me. Um, but I'm not going to let that be, be my stumbling block. I'm going to wake up and actually do a song about this whole experience. So after the ZITF shutdown show, um, with the help of my management, my, my, my publishing company, which is MIGZ, they they will suggested that I actually do a song as I was also thinking about it, but I was also second guessing. And with the push from uh, DJ, DJ Smith from ZFM, yes. I decided to do a song. So DJ Smith was like, no, 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 no. You need to do a song about this whole situation. You know, take advantage of this situation. So I always, with the help of people around me that that share share the same vision as I do, I, I managed to I managed to stand and I was strong enough to face the next day. So I did a song, Money in My Purse. <laughs> yeah, just for control. Yes. Just to say that no, it's happened, it's happened. But has now, it already dropped? The moment, uh, it, it has. It's been jamming. I dropped it on radio stations a while ago. Yeah. It's been jamming. You can even search it. It's there on all, all digital platforms. Oh, cool. It's available. It's available. Ah, good. So, yeah, it was... I'm going to look it up, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. So it was just for control to say that, no, 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 no. We don't suck up on, on, on situations. We, we just wake up and take mm -hmm. them as, you know, lessons, as a learning curve. I took it as my learning curve. Yes. And I must say that it, it was it was good that that happened to me actually because it made me see my craft on a on a different eye, mm -hmm. and it actually gave me some growth and it actually made me stronger. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate that. I mean, you know what they say: criticism actually builds you more. So mm -hmm. I, I love it when such things happen to me. They they give me right. some sort of vava vum, some sort of yeah. mm -hmm. you know. L listen to say that no this is how you go about it next time so yeah i dusted myself off i'm over that and life goes on and life is still going on smoothly and yeah things are and, okay. i'm happy uh, great and talking about the name seagull are, <laughs> are you are you are you are you possessed with the spirit of the mermaid <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that question though. <laughs> well, Seagull is my birth name, to be honest. Come to think of it. It's, it's actually on your ID. Get. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's on my ID. It's my grandmother gave me that name. Mm -hmm. So apparently my twin sister is Ndombiolwanle, meaning Seagull. So oh, I'm okay. Seagull. Mine was rather a direct translation. Mm -hmm. So so uh, how the name came about, my mother says that when she was pregnant, she went, she went and visited um, Kumusha. Yeah. And then apparently when she, 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 she went to the well to get some water. So apparently she was now getting this, you know, those signs of when you're about to give birth, and yes, cramps yes. and what, what. Yes. So, so they thought she was actually going to give birth. At, yeah, <laughs> and <they well>. so, <laughs> so my grandmother then decided to say, um, she would call us in Tombi, Zolo and Demi, Vaskana, Mvura, like, like, that's how, then they can see. Mvura, oh, so, nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I always say that, I think my grandmother, Quite interesting. You know, <laughs> I always say that, I think my grandmother always thought that she was learned, because she used to be a teacher, 
back then when there was standard two so i thought maybe yes. she thought seagull was fancy and all that <laughs> but i love it, it is it I is actually yeah it is fancy. <laughs> i actually thought it's your stage name i mean novu is your real name and then you decided to call yourself seagull and i was like oh cool no. <laughs> they both my names actually actually it's it, it's yeah it's it's my birth name and yeah i find it uh, so unique and amazing <laughs> great great and how do you define your music i mean uh, how do you describe you, the music that you make all right um before i did house music because i always say house music came as a beautiful mistake to me mm -hmm. um before i did house music i used to do jazz i love jazz so much jazz soul blues those are my kind of gems and mm -hmm. um my first single my first personal single was actually supposed to be a track in a in a fusion of reggae so i used to think, say it was reggae soul so it was a fusion of jazz reggae soul and yeah but then that didn't happen because of certain delays and mm -hmm. um so but then i decided okay since i'm a lover of gems jazz and soul and because lanes managed to identify that through the times that we were here at school together he noticed that i'm such a lover of soul i love music that mm -hmm that's carried by soul. So mm -hmm. I can safely say my music is soulful house um, with the elements of jurors, a little bit all the elements of jurors, uh, blues if there's need and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So as long as it carries a bit of soul, mm -hmm. that's me. So with house music right now, just say soulful house. Soulful house, oh, yeah. that's beautiful. Yes. And um, you have been mentioning a couple of times now that you are at school, what are you studying? I'm studying sound engineering and music production, and this is my last year. I'm doing a higher diploma, and I'm actually graduating this year. Wow, impressive! And, and you know, at least know the business aspects. Even for some, even if one person comes to manage me, I know when they're doing the wrong things. I know when to correct them. And also the fact that whenever I'm on stage, sometimes there's so bad sound, such bad sound that you want to <laughs> run away from the set. <laughs> I get so annoyed by that, and you tend to realize that that sound engineer doesn't even know his job. Yes, he's yes. clueless about is 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 there as a sound engineer, but he doesn't know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know all those things so that I am able to control all of these things, especially maybe one day when I go on my own tours mm -hmm. and I'm there being a star, you know, yes. achieving my goals. I need to be aware. I need to be able to collaborate with international artists and in and, and, and some corners. Mm -hmm. Just by knowing how to read music, we can do it online just by sending scores. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's done. It's easy. Life becomes easy. Music becomes rich. Music becomes, um, you know, perfect. Mm -hmm. Life becomes so. Awesome. You have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> I, I can see. I can see the passion. But they are five years from now. Where do we see Novi? <laughs> my guy I, I i should by in five years time i should be having plenty plenty of albums i should have released at least four albums that's my wish i should have at least released a um, couple of music videos i should be at least number one top number one charts best female artist in zimbabwe and in in, in the world at large i i don't i know dj's female producers now mm. yeah so that's, wow, that's, that's quite that's inspiring. My, and um, uh, Bongani, uh, great. <laughs> Bongani says he doesn't hear sound from Novia. Can you hear us now, Bongani? Just give us an indication if you can hear us well. But uh, um, now, the near future, in the next mm -hmm. couple of months, in a year, uh, what uh -huh. are we expecting from Novia? Any new music that's coming? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I was supposed to be dropping my new album. Uh, this November, but then because I've got, uh, I've been so much under pressure with school because I'm graduating this year, so I've been concentrating more on school. So mm -hmm. um, now that's been a challenge. So I might release it in December, or I don't know, or January. I don't know. So we'll see. But just to uh, just to pass time, I'm gonna give people a single, one single from my album, 
uh, list and it's called um, The Way You Make Me Feel. Awesome. So I'm dropping it this Friday. This Friday. This oh, Friday. wow. Great. Yes. So much looking Supposed forward. Supposed to be dropping. Yeah, so I hope, I hope, I saw prayer, pray that it's going to, my, my, my publisher is going to fix that and it's going to be available on digital stores already. <laughs> um, but yeah, look out for The Way You Make Me Feel. Boom, boom. Right. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you drop some of the terms that if I were to drop them to a layman or somebody who's just carrying to music, or possibly some of the established artists, they will not uh, know what you're talking about. You've spoken about publishing, you've talked about music rights, you've talked about uh, so many things, you know, you know, creating music like for scores and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. You are working with the management. You've got a team yeah. behind you. Mm -hmm. Would you, yeah. could you give us a bit of information as to like who's working with Novo your, in terms of management, in terms of the team? Because a lot of people say artists are lacking proper management, but you've talked about publishing. And for me, that's the first time that I've heard an artist from Zimbabwe mention publishing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you make your okay. song now, you record it, and then you put it on WhatsApp, people can listen to the song. There's nothing like yeah. publishing. No, with, with you know, yeah, that's a good question. But my first song, I didn't have a publisher, I didn't have anything, you know, and, and, and all the, people always came to me and like, where can we find the song? Where can we find the song? And the song was nowhere. And <clears throat> until later on, we just put it on, on, on YouTube, but then that was, that was not enough. And then until uh, the guys from MIGZ, uh, my guy in Zim Publishing, that uh, consists of Pusam Kaya, Achimone, and Sasenko, so awesome. they, they, yes, because they had, um, they, 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 they wanted to see me excel as well, and because they watched me grow from a very young age, uh, they, they, they then came, uh, approached me and said that they can be my publishers, they can help me publish my music and get it uh, available on all digital stores, and then as well, so as well as to benefit from something from my music, because you can't just make music and then you don't benefit anything. So that's another thing, because music is a business, like I said before, you need to know why you're doing it, you just don't do it. So then that's how I ended up coming, um, having a publisher and because I've also learned that in school that you're supposed to have a, a publisher, publisher a, mm -hmm. unless if you know how to do it yourself but you can't and but, but then sometimes you, you tend to realize you're too hands on with a lot of lot, a lot of things so don't worry let other people worry that for worry about that for you and then mm -hmm. yeah you you also asked oh. about um, uh, what, what was the question again you also mentioned um, that. No, I, I think you've pretty much answered uh, my question. It was around that. publishing. <laughs> yes, and then yeah, news on yeah. that. Uh, <clears throat> my last two questions. Uh, in your neighborhood, how do mm -hmm. people view you now that you have won awards, you're doing amazing law on the national radar, and your music is starting also to penetrate uh, the global scene? How do they feel? How do they react? How do they relate to you, seeing you? You know what? In every neighborhood, when you're growing up, you always find that um, one person or that uh, a certain crowd of people yes. that look at what you do and then think that it's, um, it's not right. Mm. So growing up, there was this group of uh, ladies that always thought what what I did was um, was not proper for a female, mm -hmm. you know. They would always come to my mom and dad, because my mom and dad were not always, always around. They would mm -hmm. travel or they would uh, be at the farm. So most of the times, these ladies would actually, when my mom came back, they would actually come and try to to, to do nyayas and say, hey, your kids have been coming late in the night, <laughs> hey, dro being dropped by cars. Yeah. Yes. So I, I went through those kind of things, but because my parents, uh, they don't, then the, the, the kind of people that don't listen to people until they see it for themselves. And because they knew that we had chores in the night and the only transport that would drop drop us in the same night is the transport that we use, like group, uh, our group would definitely, mm -hmm. 
uh, organize some transport for, transport for us to be dropped at home. So mm -hmm. that's the transport, I guess, that was being talk and talk, talked about. Mm -hmm. So, I, but now it's the same people that are coming and say, Oh, Danami, Danami, look who is there. I get to get Jabulisa. I get to get my You know, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Dude, you're the same people that were like against me when I started. So, what mm -hmm. has changed? Yeah. So, but then I, I, I'm happy that that has also changed the perspe their perspective about the art industry, the way they think. They now see that actually there's life in the art. There's, there's more to that than just what they think. Um, and some of them are actually sending their kids to my place all the time to come and help mentor them. I've gotten a couple of kids that have come to my house. Hey, oh, my mother is so People coming to me. Things that about how the art industry is being perceived out there. So, but yeah, you know, they see me as a celebrity, and <laughs> so they they oh, they, awesome. they think that mm, they think that the, the worst thing is that they think I've I've got so much money, and you know, to find yes, yes. they come and. <laughs> no, but your daughter has all the money. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> money is coming right your way. Um, yeah. yeah, in my purse, baby, in my purse. <laughs> So yeah, mm -hmm. but then I'm glad that's all happening. It shows that yeah, I'm fine. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you're it such an inspiration. I mean, so many people. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, ah, great. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, let's spend the life. <laughs> great, great. Um, if you had to had a chance to sit down with uh, the Minister of Arts, Kirsty Coventry today, what would you say to her? I'd t I'd definitely. Um, at least allocate in us getting funds to promote our music to go international because I think we we are so behind. It's, we, you can just mention a few artists that are actually appearing on Zimbabwean artists that are appearing on Trust Africa or what? That are celebrities out there, real celebrities. And we also want everyone to have a taste of that because there's so there's so there are lots of people out there who are so good, but then they because the challenge is always finance, finance, finance. We need the government to fund us. We need the government to create a uh, sort of, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, to, to, to sort of have a, a, a platform whereby we'll, we'll, they will say these are fans straight, that for are going straight to the, for artists. And we also probably have, um, I, I, I don't even know how to put it, but we need support in the art industry. Mm -hmm from the mm. government. I feel like we're not getting it. It's not mm. enough. It's oh, it's always directed to one person, to a few people. Let yes. it spread to lots of people. Why mm. why pick one person? You know, we everyone needs it out there. Consider us in your fans, please. That's right, all we need. Right. Even the the awards, we tend to realize when these awards come, they don't even come with much. Sometimes it's uh, it's just like an accolade and there's nothing. But That's whereas it. the yeah. government could come and assist and sponsor some money that comes with these accolades. Because yes, I've won, I've gotten an accolade and then what? Okay. Mm. Yes, no viewers achieved this. But is it is it is it is it all oh, that is that all oh, that she should be getting? Come on. We need I need to be able to go after after winning these awards, I need to be able to 
stand out and do something worth my worth the money that I've, I've I've received. I need to be able to fund my music more, fund music, get music videos, uh, t have studio time. I need to to even buy a house with that money. In South Africa, you hear that. Uh, Shuma Josie received 200,000 along with that. Just from one hit. With the award. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just from one hit song. But we don't get that because our government is not even thinking that's what yeah, doing. I so, get yeah. You yeah, so I wish, mm -hmm. I wish we, we get that, you know, that's all we need. And we will, wow. we will rise and, as an industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, thank you so much. Um, uh, Bruce, Bruce says you're invited to. Uh, the Africa Day in Jube next year, and Aww. I also, yeah, and I also have got Tatenda, Tatenda Albert Chimsoro is saying, oh, why am I not asking about um, relationships and family? <laughs> <laughs> why would you want to know my relationship? Ah, uh, dude, no, uh, that's not open yeah. for public. <laughs> true, true. I like to keep my, my, so, my relationships uh, secretly, yeah? Not, not really awesome, secret, awesome. Out of the picture. Yeah, <laughs> close to the chest. Yeah, that's the yes, way to go. Yes. So, yeah, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate the conversation, that it was really profound. My apologies for the technical glitches for an hour. It's and okay. thanks so much for the great patience. I must um, say that there is something about your personality, there's something about your boldness, and, um, the profoundness in terms of. Uh, your knowledge with regard to the music, also different issues and not being apologetic about things that you stand for. And I think uh, this is what we need to, to, to have more artists that stand up, that believe in themselves and say, this is what I want and this is what I deserve and this is what I'm going to deliver. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thank you so much. It's really an honor because I know in the next five years it might be difficult <laughs> to actually get an interview with you. I'll be speaking to <laughs> 10 more people. And you never know, hey? True, you never true. know. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. This was awesome. The technical problems were not your fault. Yeah, and, but I'm yeah. glad we managed to do this after mm -hmm. all. And yeah, thanks to everyone who managed to tune in. And yeah, after a long struggle. <laughs> Thank you so much. But I'm glad. And I'm humbled. I'm humbled. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and to those that are watching, you can watch this interview uh, in the next hour on YouTube. You can also watch it on the Ekran page. We're going to have it on multiple platforms. And thank you so much, Novio. Um, just a 30 second on your way out, a 30 second snippet, and then we, we close. <laughs> I'm going to sing just a bit of a bit from my new song. It's called mm. Just a snippet. Get Just a snippet. Um, Sky's Metro on Friday. I'm going to be live releasing the song. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll be tuned in. Uh, awesome. All right, great. Thank, Thank you so you much and have me. a lovely day. You're welcome. You bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> So thank you so much. Uh, it's been awesome. It's been awesome. Lovely interview. And thank you so much to those that have been watching. Tatenda Albert Chimsoro, I see you. Uh, Bruce, I see you. And Mandla Gama, thank you so much. Uh, Norman Kwali, thank you so much for watching and supporting Ear Ground. Um, feel free to like the Facebook page, Ear Ground, where the conversations happen. Uh, and today I stood in for Boaz Gumede, who is in, currently in Johannesburg. And... Um, Thank you so much. Tomorrow we have another conversation. We continue. Uh, Ear Ground, New Voices Amplified. I was speaking there to Novoyo Seagull uh, Dube. She says Seagull is her real name. It's actually on her birth. So thank you so much to everybody who's been watching. Until next time, we we'll continue to amplify new voices. But Novoyo is not a new voice. She's an established voice. She's on her way up.